I thought I'd share another problem I've been having with this Vivor lathe. Uh, it's nothing major, um, but I do want to work on it um, pretty much on the cross slide. Let's just say I'm working on a facing cut here. And if I get to about this area or anywhere on the side really, um, this handle is too heavy, so it will drop on its own. And when it does, it will slightly move the slide. Uh, so the only way to counter that would be, uh, for now, is I'd have to just hold it in place as I do the cut. Um, but this is an easy fix, really. All I'm going to have to do is add a counterweight on the other side so it stays even. Um, essentially, uh, all I'm going to do is just add, I'm going to take this off, weigh it, and then uh, turn a piece of metal the same weight and bolt it onto this side. Uh, originally I was thinking about doing just a duplicate handle of this, um, but it's not really necessary. I could always just grab this handle to, to do my turns. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna take this off, weigh it, and then uh, I'll utilize my drill press here, and then I'll drill a hole into here, I'll tap it, and then I'll turn a piece of aluminum to the same weight as this one. Uh, and then I'll I'll remember to to add the the weight of the bolt also, and then uh, bolt it on, and that should fix this problem. So let's get started. All right, so this handle along with the bolt is fifty grams. Um, maybe I'll do some brass. I do have some brass material that I don't really have any use for. Uh, so here's a screw I have that's the same thread as the bolt uh, in the handle. So then I'll use this. Um, I'll take my piece of brass and then I'll just uh, drill this hole first and then I'll, I'll cut a little bit of the brass and weigh it out. See, see how much I need to shave off. But I'll drill the hole for the bolt first to make sure that uh, we already eliminate that weight uh, and then we'll turn the brass down until it's uh, 50 grams or whatever this weighs minus uh, 50 grams will be what the brass needs to weigh. Alright, so there it is, the extra hole already drilled and tapped, and then test fitted it with the bolt in here, threads nicely, and there we are, so now we'll go ahead and work on the brass piece. So after a quick thinking here, um, what I'll do instead for the brass piece is I'll run this bolt through the back of the handle actually. So then this would be the front, this is where this handle would be placed. And what I'll do is I'll drill a hole into the brass, I'll tap that and then I'll just screw the brass onto this bolt uh, which would also serve as a stud in this, play, in this case. Uh, that would save me some drilling and uh, I'd have to use less brass since I don't have to actually drill through the entire thing and I could just do partially and tap it. So we'll go with this idea instead.
All right, here's the finished product. The facing's not the best. Um, I did run a little under on the weight. It's This is 43 grams. Uh, and then the, the bolt is, I assume, maybe two grams or so. So just a little under 50. Uh, so I'm not gonna go and make any more passes on the, heat, on the face um, just cause we'll end up losing even more weight. But yeah, got it all threaded. Uh, hit the, the surface with some scotch bright to clean it up. And then basically now this just threads in like so by hand and there you go now the lever stays with counterweight so it won't just drop and change uh distances so easy fix took about maybe 10-15 minutes and a little bit of material yeah, hopefully this helped you guys. Enjoy.